Thanks for tuning in with us and welcome to a brand new season of Inside Rutgers. I'm your host, Mariamo Luahuje. And I'm Joe Martucci. Are you ready to soak up the sun? We have a great episode coming to you right from here at the Rutgers Gardens, right across the way from the Cook Douglas campus off of Route 1. During this Fun in the Sun themed episode, we'll have an exciting interview with the Rutgers alumni who introduced bubble tea to the city of New Brunswick. We'll learn more about the Earth Center located in South Brunswick. We'll hit the streets and find out how students are coping with the heat. And we'll also be featuring an Inside Your Health segment regarding what you can find at the Rutgers Gardens Farmer's Market. But first, let's take a look at this great scenery we're surrounded by, a great summer day here in August. And you know what I'm looking forward to? Seeing a lot of nice sights that Rutgers Gardens has to offer. Have you ever been here before? Yeah, actually, I came here um, at the beginning of this summer, and okay. it's absolutely beautiful. We need to check out the giant yellow lawn chair. Absolutely. absolutely. I see a lot of people's Facebook profile pictures on that giant lawn chair. I've never been there, so maybe we take our own picture. Absolutely, and there's a waterfall. A gazebo, all kinds of awesome things that we need right. to check out before we leave here today. Absolutely. We have a lot of show to cover right now. <laughs> but also, actually, in addition to that, something else I think we should take a look at is the bamboo forest. The bamboo forest, absolutely. I've always, I've always heard so many cool stories about them. You don't usually see bamboo too often around here in New Jersey. So exactly. that should be also an interesting sight as well. I can't wait. I'm so pumped for this episode. Absolutely. Now, for you guys who don't know exactly what the... Um, Rutgers Gardens has to offer. We actually have a promo that we're about to play for you right now, so check it out. Natural, refreshing, absolutely breathtaking. The Rutgers Gardens is a self-sustaining botanical garden that's right around the corner. The Rutgers Gardens offers educational programs, children's programs, family activities, a farmer's market, and so much more. Supported mostly by generous donations and volunteers, the Rutgers Gardens is able to stay open 365 days a year. There's no reason not to come enjoy the simple pleasures nature has to offer. The Rutgers Gardens is located on 112 Riders Lane and is open every day from 8.30 a.m. until dusk. If you want to visit the Rutgers Gardens or you just want more information, please visit ruckersgardens.ruckers.edu. Do you need a bike for a month, for a semester? Did you know that Rutgers has a bike rental program? Sign up is easy. Just go to their website, bikes.ruckers.edu, and click on the Here button to register. You are going to need your net ID and password ready to sign up. Once you're done, you can come by and pick up your bike at several locations all around campus. With the cost of gas and the amount of traffic, why not rent a bike for $25 a semester or $10 a month? For more information, visit bikes.rutgers.edu. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says that only 8% of plastic cups get put in the blue bin. That's not a win-win. Wherever you party, don't forget to recycle. This message has been brought to you by RUTV Weather Watcher. This is Mike. Mike is the president of the Stick Figure Advocate Club. He has his first meeting today. Unfortunately, he had some trouble getting the word out about his meeting, so no one showed up he decided to call RUTV to get help promoting his club. Just one week after Mike called RUTV, they made a commercial for him. He is super excited. Today is Mike's second meeting. He is nervous that no one will show up again. Hey, it seems like calling RUTV really worked. Now Mike has new members. If you want help promoting your club or event, visit our website at rutv.ruckers.edu and just click the Promote Your Organization link. Visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash rutv or call us at 848-445-1966. 
Hey, what's up guys? We all know how great college life is. Classes only once or twice a week, so much extra time just to hang out with your friends and chill. But the one thing that everyone forgets is that with all this free time comes the responsibility to keep yourself in shape. Now I love video games, they're fun, but all that sitting around is just a one-way ticket to getting fat. So for that lifelike game day experience, just go outside and play it. There's over 20,000 students at Rutgers, and I know at least one of them is bound to want to play a little pickup. Now when you're done, you're going to be hungry. I know it happens. Just try to limit your visit to the grease trucks every once in a while. You don't want to know the amount of calories that are in one of these guys. Stick to like a light sandwich, peanut butter and jelly perhaps, even some fruit. Now I know it's a little cliche, but one of these will keep the doctor away. Oh yeah, and soda. Try to stay away from that. Now I'm not, there's nothing wrong with the occasional indulgence, but you don't want to go overboard. So for more information about just staying shape and eating right, go to food.ruckers.edu. I'll catch you later. Wow, well, as gorgeous as it outside, it sure is hot sitting out here. Oh, absolutely. It's blazing out here. Yeah. I could definitely go for a nice frosty beverage, maybe a mango slush bubble tea. Ooh, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Did you know that um, it was brought to the city of New Brunswick by a Rutgers alumni? No, I didn't. Her name is Iris Chang. Wow. And I actually got to sit down and find out more about her story. So why don't we check that out? Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Iris Chang. I am the uh, founder of this cafe called Ice Cafe, located on 42 Easton Avenue. This Rutgers alumni opened the first bubble tea cafe in the city of New Brunswick back in 2001. It didn't all come easy though. After graduating and having to face the economic downturn, Iris took a trip back to Taiwan to find some inspiration. Yeah, there was just, I was just going through down times and it was really depressing. So I decided to go back to my country to visit my biological mom who lives in there still currently. And there I was introduced to bubble tea. Uh, bubble tea is um, these tapioca drinks underneath of your uh, tea smoothie um, or shake. I was thinking to myself, since I couldn't find a job, why don't I just start a bubble tea place? Because I love drinking it so much and I have so much passion about it. So that's what I did. I started looking into bubble tea and I started my first bubble tea in July of 2001. April of 2003, it was a horrible, horrible uh, time for me because um, nobody knew of what bubble tea was. Even though Rutgers has a population of an eighth of Asians, but uh, most Asians are uh, what do you call it, um, American-born Chinese, or you know they immigrated here also like me when they were little, so they know nothing about bubble tea and the history of bubble tea. Um, but what changed it was I started combining tea with fresh fruits, tea with different milkshakes that um, the American culture is used to, like coffee, frappuccino tea, uh, ban uh, strawberry banana, frozen yogurts. What I did is I started combining Western and Eastern together and there, that made the comp and, and start combining different teas together, black teas with white teas, white teas with green teas, and there I started to get good feedback. So um, my advice to all the um, foreigners who's immigrating to the United States or who's visiting and try, try to find their place and try to fit in is to relax and enjoy their life and really try to enjoy and try to um, be open-minded and um, see different opportunities in life that, as it comes. Everyone who is looking for the best drinks on Eastern Avenue in New Brunswick is to come to Ice Cafe. Wow, what a motivational story. And it's difficult for people even out of the state to come to Rutgers, but come out of the country to establish yourself here in New Brunswick. And you know, bubble tea, I see it all the time in class each and every day. Tell me about it. You know what? I wish I had some bubble tea right now. It is way too hot out here. Yeah. Why don't we take a second and listen in on how some of our fellow students are coping with the heat. There are many fun and exciting activities to do outdoors here at Rutgers. What activities are you doing outside? What's your favorite activity to do outside? Uh, I like to play tennis. Go swimming. Play basketball with my friends. Walking around outside. What do you like least about the hot weather? Smell, I sweat. I just really don't like sweating. I feel like a vegetable. 
What is the best kind of cold refreshing drink you can find on campus? Probably bubble tea, actually. <laughs> bubble tea. I like bubble tea. What is the best flavor of bubble tea? The taro and almond. Passion fruit. Honeydew. What is your favorite summer song? Somebody I used to know. Space Jam. Payphone by Maroon 5. <laughs> Call Me Maybe. I like the Call Me Baby, yeah. Can you sing it? Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. But you didn't have to cut me out. I'm at a payphone, and this is crazy. But here's my number, so call me maybe. Where is the worst place to be stuck on a really hot day at Rutgers? Stay at work. Livingston. In the hill building. In an exam room. At the bus stop. What is the best way to cool off here at Rutgers? I don't know, go inside. Run through a sprinkler. The computer labs. Do you mind getting wet? Uh, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yes, I do mind. <laughs> there are a variety of activities that can be enjoyed outdoors here at Rutgers. So the next time you get bored, take a step outside and find something to do. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, that bucket prank at the end was absolutely priceless. Oh my god, I kept watching every time. I thought they were going to get it, but you know, we could use our own bucket prank. With today. some actual water, though, because it is really hot out here. Oh my god, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, we're having too much fun out here in our fun to something episode of Inside Rockers. <laughs> Stay tuned, because we'll be right back after this. Coming up next is the latest on the Earth Center in South Brunswick, New Jersey, and the Farmer's Market right here at the Rutgers Garden. But first, here's a bonus inside look at the new Rutgers Barnes & Noble bookstore. The official Rutgers bookstore has been relocated and caffeinated. The Farron Mall Barnes & Noble is officially relocating onto Somerset Street with a new addition, a Starbucks. We spoke with General Manager Len Ozer to find out more. Um, we're very proud of this uh, new facility. It's been a long time in the making, over six years. Um, and with extreme cooperation between our uh, campus partners, Barnes & Noble College, and the uh, Development Corporation of New Brunswick, we were able to execute this outstanding facility. It's a 48,000 square foot um, building. We've got a full textbook department downstairs for all the student textbooks. We've got a 10,000 square foot uh, uh, Rutgers Scarlet Knight apparel floor. Um, we've got a full service Barnes & Noble Superstore upstairs for books. The reason of the to move to this new location, um, well, first of it was a it was a joint effort between Barnes and Noble and our Rutgers campus partners to create a bookstore in an environment that's befitting a university of this size and stature. Um, we want to do the best job at servicing our student population here at Rutgers, and we needed something uh, of a larger format with with more amenities uh, to be able to do that. And this store certainly provides that for us. So. It truly is a benefit for the Rutgers community that the new Barnes & Noble features so many new and exciting services. Let's see what the students think. I think that the move was really important for us just because you can see it much better. It's more connected to College Ave. Uh, you don't have to walk all the way down there towards the train station. It's right here. Uh, definitely a better spot for everyone. It's good. Uh, it's close to the university, the old location. I mean, it's still pretty close, but uh, this is a bigger store. There's uh, more variety, you know, there's a Starbucks here, there's, uh, there's a trade book section that was, it's a lot bigger than the one in the old store, so I think it has benefits. Uh, the move from Farron Mall to the new location is great, I think. I was just talking to someone yesterday, I said, we're connected right to the train station, and you have the university right here, so, and we're around New Brunswick again. There isn't really anywhere you can find something like this except the library, but also the library is you know, it's not as modern or it's not as uh, welcoming as this is going to be. We have like a lot of tables, a great, a great staff, especially like the people I've been working with so far, they, everybody's like phenomenal. We just welcome you. Come enjoy the environment with us, hang out with us, um, play on your iPad, your iPhone, um, have a Starbucks coffee, find a nice place to, to sit down with your friend and, and, and work on your, your studies. Um, and we're here to help you uh, support, to support you in that effort. The Rutgers Institute for Women in Art presents The Fertile Crescent Project, a showcase that expresses the struggle between gender, art, and society in the Middle East. 
The Fertile Crescent Project will have its inaugural symposium on Sunday, September 9th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. The symposium will take place in Voorhees Hall in room 105. This official launch will encompass a diverse array of speakers and artists. For more information, please visit www.fertile-crescent.org. Have you ever lost your RUID like Michael Williams? Well, don't panic. Then take a second to retrace your steps and track down where you left it. You'll never know where you'll find it. Just suspend your card by going to ruexpress.ruckers.edu so that nobody else can use it. Once you've done that, you can reactivate your RUID. So remember to contact RU Connection ID Card Services. Learn more by visiting ruconnection.ruckers.edu. Moving in can be super overwhelming, but here are some helpful tips on what you should bring to your new Ruckers dorm, suite, or apartment. To sleep well, make sure you bring twin extra long size sheets for your bed and pillows and blankets to your discretion. Two pillows and one comforter should be enough. Also, bring an alarm clock so you're never late for your classes. And after class, when you're trying to sit back, relax, and study, you should have a computer, surge-protected power strip, ethernet cable to connect to the internet, and a wide selection of office supplies that you might need throughout the semester. And when you're ready to take a break, curl up with your MP3 player or watch a movie on the RUTV movie channel. Just make sure you bring a coaxial cable and call RU Info if you need help hooking it up. For small emergencies, try to keep a first aid kit, flashlight, small tool kit, and a sewing kit around the room. If you want your room to feel more like home, spruce it up. Hang up some posters, family photos, bring your favorite snacks, and make sure you bring whatever makes you feel at home. Bring clothes for all four seasons, unless you're able to leave out-of-season clothes at home. There's a recreation center on every campus, so bring a swimsuit and other athletic clothing so that you can take advantage. Extra storage space is always helpful and is most convenient with bed risers and under the bed storage compartments. Don't forget hangers to hang everything up and detergent in a laundry basket for your wash. And for your own personal hygiene, bring a towel and a washcloth, shower shoes and a shower caddy, a bathrobe, and whatever other toiletries you might need. Other miscellaneous things you might want around your suite, dorm, or apartment may include a desk, floor, or bedside lamp, small vacuum, plates, cups, bowls, and other utensils, a fan, and whatever prescription medication you might have. More questions? Call RU Info or visit ruoncampus.ruckers.edu for helpful tips and lists. Are you moving in? Rutgers University bike rental system is one of the many unique features here at the university. If you enjoy biking around campus, learning how to load a bike onto a bus may come in handy one day. To load a bike onto a bus rack, squeeze the handle located at the top of the bike rack to lower the bike rack. Next. Lift the bike up and place it onto the bike rack, making sure that the front wheel is in the wheel lock. Finally, rotate the wheel lock handle until the front tire is secured in the wheel lock. Remember to alert the bus driver before you put your bike onto the bike rack and before you remove your bike from the bike rack. It's that simple. Welcome back. Now, as promised, we're going to be giving you guys the latest on the Earth Center located in South Brunswick. That's right. Now, I had the opportunity of meeting with the Butterfly House chairperson. Her name is Dale Duchesne. Why don't we watch as she gives us the latest? Let's take a look. Here we are at the Earth Center in South Brunswick, New Jersey, where we've been granted an inside look into their latest exhibit, the Butterfly House. Watch as we find out more. My name is Dale Duchesne and I am the chairperson for the Barbara Cutsell Butterfly House here at the Earth Center. The Earth Center is located at 42 Riva Avenue 
and Davison Mill Pond Park in South Brunswick, New Jersey. It's a park, which is the Davison Mill Pond Park, and within the park is where we have the demonstration gardens and the, what we call the Earth Center. And the Earth Center is where we have the Master Gardener classes that the Master Gardeners take. Um, and it's a classes that they take from um, September through December, and then again, the January through April. And then they do volunteer work to then be certified to become a Master Gardener at the end. And part of what those volunteer hours then will partake in will be the vegetable garden that we have as a demonstration garden. We have a children's garden where the children who come to the park can play and learn about gardening. We have composting, which the visitors can come and learn about composting demonstrations. We have a rain garden. We do rain barrel workshops here. So anybody who's interested in learning how to do it and make a rain barrel uh, can do that here. But the Butterfly House is a passion of mine. It's become a passion of mine. And it's, a, it's as you can see from behind me and throughout, it is a enclosed structure that we then can control the life cycle of the butterflies. We put in the butterfly house various different plants which are then gonna be used for the different uh, cycles of the butterfly. From the butterfly laying the eggs to the eggs hatching, turning into caterpillars, to turning into a chrysalis, and then re-emerging as a butterfly, which is at about a month period of time. And it's a place everybody should come and visit. Even if you're afraid of butterflies, it's not something that you should be afraid of because they're just flying around enjoying life and we can control them so that you can have that opportunity to do just that. So I want all of you guys to come in to the Earth Center. And again, let me give you that address if you didn't catch it the first time. It's the Earth Center at 42 Riva Avenue in South Brunswick. Whether you enjoy butterflies or gardens, the Earth Center is open year round and it's a ton of fun for the whole family. So come on out, spread your wonder and your wings. I'm Mariama Oluwahuje, RUTV. Wow, how awesome that butterfly house looks. The whole Earth Center, in fact, is a great place to bring your friends and family to watch plants and animals grow. Speaking of things that are being grown, did you know that the Rutgers Gardens has their very own farmer's market? You mean to tell me you've been here the whole time and there's a farmer's market here? <laughs> I need to get my hands on a snack. Whoa, not until you take a look at the latest installment of Inside Your Health. I can wait a little. I got to meet with the Rutgers Gardens intern and she told me a little bit about the healthy fruits and vegetables that they have to offer there. Awesome. So why don't we take a look at that? Hello, my name is Carol Ann Cedia. Welcome to the Rutgers Gardens Farmer's Market. The Farmer's Market is a place for local vendors who don't have a storefront to sell their produce to the New Brunswick and surrounding communities. Um, its address is 112 Riders Lane, New Brunswick, New Jersey. The Rutgers Gardens Farmer's Market is open every Friday from May to November from 12 to 5 p.m. All the crops that are sold here are local crops. Basically, they're just picked today. So the, pro the produce that you buy today was picked also today. So that means that they have the highest amount of uh, vitamins and minerals um, more than any that you would find in the store. And so the, the local crops that are like in season right now, you have tomatoes, you have peppers, eggplants, melons. Um, ones that are high in vitamin C are peppers and melons and strawberries. And product, or crops that are high in iron include all the meats that we sell here, all the cheeses, in addition to kale, which is like a dark leafy green vegetable, and beans. The prices at the farmer's market might be a little bit more expensive than at a grocery store. However, you are getting fresh produce that was picked just today. And because it was picked today, there's more nutrients in it than produce that was um, picked a, month, or a week ago and then ripened in a truck to get to the store. So you're really getting the most for your money as far as nutrients goes if you spend your money at the farmer's market. For students that are looking to eat healthier, definitely make the like the state or the staple of your diet fruits and vegetables. You want to make sure that you have a variety of fruits and vegetables with a variety of colors because the more colors you eat, the more veg uh, nutrients and vitamins that you have. And you want to stay away from too many processed foods, um, too many processed goods, even meats and cheeses that you get. You want them to be organic if possible because that keeps you away from any chemicals that you don't want in your food. The Farmer's Market is committed to uh, providing the Rutgers community, the, as well as the New Brunswick residents, uh, faculty, staff, students, the university dining facilities, and restaurants with local and fresh produce from the market. Come to the Rutgers Farmer's Market. It's a great place, and it's delicious food, and you can get really good ice pops. They have homemade ice pops here that are delicious, so go there. <laughs> You know, Joe, this summer I've done my best when it comes to eating healthier and having a more active lifestyle. So Great. Honestly, that segment helps tremendously, and I love being outdoors. Well, speaking of being outdoors, we're going to continue our fun, the sun-themed episode of Inside Rutgers coming up right after this short break. 
average college diet can be overwhelming with lacking in nutrition. Luckily for Rutgers students, every Friday until November 16th, the Rutgers Gardens opens up its farmer's market to locals who want to enjoy it. You can take a bite out of Jersey Fresh produce, baked goods, meat, cheese, wine, and so much more. The farmer's market is open on Fridays from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. and is located on 124 Riders Lane. Fresh and healthy. So, what are you waiting for? Campus Information Services is comprised of many different departments that work together to keep the Rutgers community informed. The Call Center, also known as RU Info, is the main information and referral service of Rutgers University. The student colleagues here are a contact for students looking to attend Rutgers. They are also an info hub, answering any questions a student might have about the campus. RU TV is where the magic happens, producing shows like Wake Up Rutgers, Inside Rutgers, and Pass the Popcorn. RUTV creates promos and packages for organizations and events, covers live events, and also features at the podium and weather watcher segments. RUTV works hard to produce creative content that helps to keep the campus informed and connected. Be sure to check out the Facebook and Twitter pages of RU Info, RUTV, and Weather Watcher for information on events happening around campus. Rutgers offers a lot of great classroom programs, but everyone needs to get away from the books once in a while. Rutgers Recreation provides a great way to find something outside the classroom. Recreational programs can be found in multiple locations on all campuses and are available year-round for students, faculty, staff, alumni, and spouses. Rutgers Recreation provides a great variety of programs, including aquatics, outdoor recreation, fitness, and many more. There are over 50 intramural activities offered by the program. Registration forms are available at all four Rutgers Recreation Centers. For more information, call the Sunny Werblin Recreation Center at 732-445-0462 or the College Ave Gymnasium at 732-932-8204. Also, check out their website at www.recreation.ruckers.edu. Thank you guys so much for staying with us. We had a wonderful time here today. And this concludes our episode of Inside Rutgers from right here at the Rutgers Gardens. If you ever want to check it out, it is free and open to the public. Yep, and if you guys have any comments or suggestions for our next episode, email us at rutv underscore inside Rutgers at email.ruckers.edu. And if you missed any part of this episode or want to see any other previous episode, you can find us online at rutv.ruckers.edu. And that concludes it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time on Inside Rutgers. Join Mary Emma and Joe as they delve more into the different research opportunities at Rutgers University. They'll talk about the Arresti Research Center with an exclusive interview of member Katie Mori. And Mary Emma also interviewed the prestigious Goldwater scholars Devin Lambert and Kelvin May. They'll also be getting into the Siemens Solar Exchange East Conference and the technology that is behind the rack expansion. Don't miss the Technology Without Borders episode of Inside Rutgers.